Hi, this is Corey Saltishu Floyd from Mare Me Media. I'm here to give you a quick review over Alter Carbon, a Netflix original on Netflix, uh, starring Joel Kinnaman. Uh, this is a sci-fi action detective noir. Yeah, I know that's a lot. Now, Kinnaman, whose last big role you might remember is was Robocop in 2014, and he also did a quick stint on House of Cards. <clears throat> Uh, but this takes place like 500 years into the future with a very interesting concept. Take the idea that everything essentially about you is put into a weird data disk that when the body dies, the data disk can be put into an empty body now referred to as a sleeve where you can turn back on and still continue to live a whole new life. There's also, there's also sleeve death and permadeath. Uh, and that's the type of futuristic world where this takes place. Uh, first and foremost, it looks like there was no held on expense on the budget. This is a very massive world they've decided to develop and it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, there's also a lot of hologram play, like there's a hologram community that runs a lot of the businesses. We actually run into one who's simply called Poe because he's literally designed himself after the author Edgar Allan Poe who runs a very seedy hotel. Uh, the chemistry between him and Takashi Kovacs is actually very fun. He's almost, the Poe almost plays the Watson to his gritty Sherlock Holmes. Uh, there's also a lot of a lot of stepping back and forth through time as well as different bodies because over the hundreds of years th that goes on in this show, a lot of bodies tend to get switched and even even and faces are changed. Now, if you notice, I did say earlier that a dude named Joel Ketterman is playing a guy named Takashi Novaks. So, yeah, it gets kind of weird because originally this guy was Asian, but then his body got destroyed. But then his his memory disc got put into a white guy's body. It's really crazy. It's it's like it's like it's like a smarter version of whoever wrote the Ghost in the Shell movie, uh, but with a better payout. Um, you'll act, you'll also see a, it's really amazing ensemble cast. It's a people from every touch of life. It takes place in what would uh, what looks like a super futuristic but also Americanized type of Japan. I'm not not really sure they get the locations they give are still rather vague. So so it's it has a certain amount of mystery to it. Um it also pays a lot of interesting homages to stuff like iRobot, um iRobot, Alien, Total Recall, especially Total Recall. It's definitely there's definitely a lot of Total Recall vibes and definitely Ghost Ghost in the Machine and Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, both ghosts, I know. But uh, I really do think it's something that people should take a moment to check out. Uh, definitely, I'm not going to lie, it gets a little, it gets weird. It gets very weird. Uh, for I don't like to spoil TV shows, even though, yes, I will spoil a movie without a problem. So I really want everyone to come check this out, okay? Uh, so don't forget, check it out, Ultra Carbon, Netflix, Streaming now, Corey Salter True Floyd, and I'll see you later. Hey everybody, it's Corey Salter True Floyd here. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out one of these things around me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we need those. And make sure you hit that bell so whenever we upload something, you get that bing, 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 bing.